Keep up to date everywhere. News Talk 820, WBAP. In the WBAP Newsroom. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you've tuned in, everybody, to the Chris Salcedo Show. If you want to catch up with the program, WBAP.com slash Chris Salcedo. That's WBAP.com slash C-H-R-I-S-S-A-L-C-E-D-O. Facebook, Twitter, email, it's all right there, one-stop shopping. Even our podcasts are right there if you want to catch up on something that's particularly poignant. And you may want to share this next interview uh, with uh, those out there, especially those in the pro-life movement. Let me bring on... uh, uh, Byron Henry, he is, of course, one of the legal eagles here at the Chris Salcedo Show. Somebody, do, we, we have him on retainer, so to speak, uh, to come in and talk about when, when legislative stuff breaks. Uh, Byron, welcome back to the Chris Salcedo Show. Glad to be with you, Chris. How are things over there at Sheath and Stone? Very good, very good. Um, I'm very busy, and just uh, I just gave a talk today to a conservative men's breakfast group about all the great things that President-elect Donald Trump is going to mean for the federal court system as a whole and the Supreme Court in particular. Well, uh, that's that's good news, and uh, thanks thanks to them for making sure that you could be here with us. Uh, look, the uh, and all of the reporting on this seems to be legitimate, and uh, and the blackout on the national press. Also tells me we may be on to something here. Uh, in uh, Montgomery, Alabama is the date line. The Alabama Supreme Court has ruled that a woman's wrongful death lawsuit against an OBGYN accused of contributing to her unborn child's death may continue. In the ruling, the, the, the Supreme Court there, in I guess in the majority ruling, uh, said that the unborn is actually a human being uh, deserving of protections under the law. How far-reaching is this where where can this go well first of all it's not it's as far reaching as it can go because all you can say is that an unborn child is a human being from the moment of conception and that life begins at conception which the opinion also says is basically beyond refutation and in in one respect it's as far reaching as you can go in another respect it's not very far reaching in this way Uh, that's been the law in alabama 38 states have laws that if a person causes the death of an unborn child in utero Regardless of viability and regardless of how long, uh, you know, whether it's one week, two weeks, 10 weeks, or, or 30 weeks, they can be charged with a crime in most states and certainly are subject to wrongful death law. Um, Alabama has that law as well. What the court did in this case was say that physicians, there's, a, there's an exception in Alabama law for physicians and, of course, for mothers. There has to be because the Supreme Court has given mothers the constitutional right to terminate their unborn child's life. So besides the fact that they can't enforce that one exception, there was also an exception for physicians from criminal liability, pre-viability. So, but in this case, this was a civil wrongful death case, and the court said emphatically that we have held for civil liability purposes and criminal liability purposes, the policy of the state of Alabama is, is that the unborn child is a person worthy of protection of the law from the moment of conception until birth. So Okay. So now, so again, what... what Many on the liberal left, uh, the anti-life left, the pro-abortion left, what, what they are going to recoil at is this idea that that baby is a human being because th- th- this is what they've been fighting. They, they have wanted us to believe there's just a glob of cells. doesn't matter whether you kill it. doesn't matter, doesn't matter at all because it, it can't be protected under law. They, they have a right to uh, have abortion fund their political campaigns, and they want to protect that right. Uh, so they do not want to give personhood status to that child in utero. Uh, how damaging could a ruling like this by a Supreme Court in one of the states be to their pro-abortion narrative? Well, they can recoil all they want, but they've lost that fight. Over three-quarters of the state recognize the value of a human life prior to viability to everyone except the mother, which the Supreme Court of the United States has said states cannot give personhood uh, status to an unborn relative to the mother's choice to abort the unborn child. But with respect to everyone else in the world, over three-quarters of the states recognize wrongful death actions against others, including physicians in Alabama, for the death of an unborn child uh, at, at, at lots of stages of the pregnancy, most from, in, from conception through birth. So that's a fight that they have lost. This opinion, what it does to their movement, is call attention to the fact 
and that's why the media doesn't report it, that it is settled policy of a vast majority of the people of the United States and of the states in this union that uh, life begins at conception and unborn children deserve the protection of the law. They don't like to hear that because they have this exception by a very, very narrow 5-4 majority prior to Justice Scalia's death. Uh, on the Supreme Court of the United States that makes an exception to the value of an unborn child's life when it's the mother doing the termination. So other than that exception, which they have won, uh, obviously since 1973, they've managed to, to, to keep that right. Other than that, the battle's been lost as to whether or not unborn children are worth protecting and should be protected by the law. Byron Henry, everybody. Sheaf and Stone is where he works and uh, one of the legal eagles here on the Chris Salcedo Show. We are proud to have, sir. Thank you very much for being Johnny on the spot and being with us today. Anytime, Chris. Thank you, buddy.